Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show a new plugin that Dennis has written called uh, Cypress Plugin Last Fail. And it solves a problem that sometimes happens when you have a spec and it has multiple tests and some of the tests passed and some tests failed and you just want to rerun the failed ones. Seems simple, right? Unfortunately, Cypress doesn't have a built-in ability to do so, so this plugin implements it. So let's see this in action. What do I need to do to see it? So it uses my plugin SciGrep because it relies on picking test by the title. So let's install it. So I have this project prepared and I'll just start a new branch. So demo one. So we're gonna install dev dependencies, uh, my SciGrep plugin and Cypress plugin last failed. What else do we need to do? In the support file, we need to load the site grab and the last failed. Okay, copy. Let's go to the support file and just paste it. And in the Cypress config file, we need to load the plugin configuration function, Cypress config, so require, and then call it and call the site grab plugin as well. And it's very important to return the config because these plugins might change the spec pattern to exclude the specs that don't need to be run. All right, I think this is it. Let's see this in action. And I prepared a spec file with a couple of passing tests and a couple of failing ones. So let's open Cypress. And to end testing, Electron Browser spec A. And it ran all the tests and two tests failed, just like expected. And now notice if we rerun all the tests, all five rerun, but there is a new button that appears right there on the top that says filter failed tests. And if we click on it, it reruns the test, but notice it skipped all successfully passing tests and it only reruns the failed ones. And if you click rerun the tests, again, it skips the passing ones, runs only the previously failed ones. So the plugin works and you can stop filtering and now you're running all the tests again. Run only the previously failed tests. And if you go to the other spec, like spec B, then it resets everything, go back to spec A, runs everything, start filtering. So this is the interactive mode, works very well, love it. Let's check it out in non-interactive Cypress run mode. So let's say we're doing Cypress run, we run all the specs, some tests will fail as expected. And what do we have now? Well, we have a file in the test results folder called last run. And it has simply the titles of uh, tests that have failed. Now, uh, I would suggest that this plugin changes and actually records these test titles per spec because the same title could be in multiple spec files. So we don't want to just have the test title. It has to be spec and then the suit, of, like the describe block title and then the test title so that you avoid the confusion. But here's what happens. I want to run just the fail test again. The plugin introduces this Cypress plugin last fail. Let's try it out. So instead of Cypress run, we now do Cypress plugin last failed. And notice it uses the SciGrep plugin and it skips the specs where all the tests have succeeded. And even from the spec A, it only reruns the two tests that previously have failed. So it works in non-interactive mode as well. So really good plugin. I'm going to put the link to this demo repo and to the plugin itself in the description of this video.